Yo, what's going on, my people? Welcome back to the Lift Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. As you guys can see right here, we're going to be covering Cypherium today. Now, there's been a lot of FUD that's surrounding this project here, Cypherium, but as you guys can see right here, this is the Cypherium CEO, Sky Guao saying that he just had a wonderful meeting with Johnny NKC, one of the most influential Web3 leaders in Hong Kong, saying they're thrilled to partner with Hong Kong in its transition to be the world leading place for Web3. He also goes on to say that Cypherium plans on bringing over a thousand projects worldwide to the ecosystem with the support of Hong Kong, positioning Cypherium as the official blockchain platform for Hong Kong's Web3 ecosystem now of course today what we're going to be doing if you've never heard of cypherium or anything like that i want to give you guys a background probably put some fud to rest and obviously make sure we get off bullish so let's go ahead and look in to see who this johnny ng guy is looking at his twitter i was seeing this right here now i have the english version of this document but basically it's saying here development of web3 technologies in select places this is actually coming from their hong kong legislative council now the thing about johnny ng is he is a part of that hong kong leg cope he's a member he's a part of this legislation here so i want to give you all a background of course as you know web 3 is the latest generation of the world web basically underpinning you have crypto nfts metaverses and whatnot but look at this in hong kong the government has sought to brace the development and adoption of web 3 the financial secretary has announced in a 2023 2024 budget to nurture the web 3.0 ecosystem and establish a tax force to develop those virtual assets that's a, a as a component of course for web3 so as you know you might be wondering well how is cypherium even a part of this whole conversation you can see here from the dmi we were showing you all this article here about central bank digital currencies and blockchain within this there's a few mines that are coming from of course the bank of england swiss national bank but of course you have here the uh, ceo sky guau now in this article i want y'all to see here that the host of this interview is saying specifically what value does cypherium add for central banks exploring the potential of cb DCs. He goes on to say that within Cypherium, there is a digital currency interoperability framework, the DCIF, which allows CBDCs to interact and interoperate with one another, as well as other digital currencies. So I want to keep that in mind with you guys. As Hong Kong is really ramping up their Web3 garnering, I'm sure you guys might know that regulations are coming for CBDCs. So when you have a combination with Web3 and as well um, central banks, clearly Cypherium wants to be positioned in a very high place. Now, Hong Kong's Web3 industry forms new associations to push uh, Hong Kong to be the crypto hub of the world real quick so you guys can see here um you have leaders in hong kong's industry announcing the formation of two new associations which you all can see the license virtual asset association and web 3 harbor long story short you all can see here that in asia thailand malaysia have tightened relate tightened regulations while Singapore has sent warnings to discourage retail crypto traders. You have India imposing some of the harshest tax regimes to discourage investment in cryptocurrency. So Hong Kong moving forward and making all of these adjustments into the industry is a new thing in that APAC region. It's really unique. You can see here Hong Kong is charting its own path despite China's anti-crypto stance, their own Web3 path here. Now listen to this. During its government-backed fintech week late last year, Hong Kong indicated its intention to legalize crypto retail trading and introduce a licensed regime for digital asset providers regulations. The plan took, took more shape in February when the city published draft rules that would allow individuals to trade certain cryptos starting in June, starting June 1st. So you see this these developments are moving and they're moving fast. You see Hong Kong Web3 Festival 2023, an inaugural festival taking place at the Hong Kong Convention, bringing some of the world's brightest minds. This came, guys, and this was backed by their government, okay? Backed actually by their government. So you can see here right now, uh, Cypherium, as, as it's going, you all can see, been pumped. It went from two cents to about uh, about two six or so, guys. So if you want to get yourself some, you can see that the only place that is listed, it's on Mexi, okay? On Mexi. You can see right here, Mexi has it available for you. There's a link in our description uh, for a, a free account, guys. You can see in, anybody in the States, 
This is going to come up. They're trying to push anybody out in the U.S. not to use Mexi, but there is a link, a special link they gave us that you guys can bypass the KYC and actually grab yourself some ciphers as this Web3 revolution continues. I appreciate you making it to this part of the video. Stay tuned for some more content, y'all. I'll holler at you later. Peace. Mm -hmm.